One of the top questions that people ask me that are either using my software or are looking to start incorporating video into their customer facing activities is, Josh, how do I get better on video? Now, I want to start by saying that not everybody is going to be great on video just because there's all these reports about video being incredibly effective in your sales process. It does not necessarily mean that absolutely everybody should definitely be using video. We all have different skill sets. We're all better at different things. And there's so many different parts of a sales process, different pieces that people need to be effective at really double down on the parts that you are effective in and you will continue to land those deals and move them forward. But for people that are interested in being better on video, let's go over a couple of really quick and simple tactics and tips and tricks that I tell everybody. First, let's talk about lighting. If you can position yourself in a place in your office, in your room, where there is natural light at your face, not behind you, at your face, you will look a lot better on video. Number two, where you position your camera matters. Right now, I have my camera mounted right above my computer screen, so that it's kind of coming down on me at a, at a slight angle. That's far better than coming up at me from underneath the screen. Nobody wants to look up your nose when they're looking at a video from you. They want to have a more favorable direction on you. So put your camera above your monitor, kind of slightly tilted downward at you. That's going to be the most favorable angle. The next thing people always ask me about is the camera equipment itself. And what I always tell people is that the camera you're using matters less than the audio that you have in the video. And nothing matters as much as the message in the video itself. So don't be so hard on yourself. If you don't have a $5,000 camera to record your videos into, using the camera built into your monitor, even if it's just a 720p camera, it's lower resolution, it's not you know, an HD video camera, even that is going to be just fine if the message is clear and if the audio is clear. So some of the things that I tell people with audio specifically is get yourself the best audio setup that you possibly can. Uh, one thing that I always recommend to people is at a minimum, get yourself a nice USB powered microphone, something that cancels out other ambient sounds in the room. One of my favorite ones right now is uh, called the Shure MV7. That's M like Mary, V like Victor 7. That's actually what my sales team uses here at SalesReach. I'm using the Shure SM7B, which is a little more uh, cost prohibitive than the <laughs> MV7 is. The MV7, you can get yourself into that for under $300 with a stand and everything. All ready to go, just plugs right into the computer. No additional tools or anything required. But even some nice Apple earbuds uh, will actually pick up really great audio. And then you don't have this microphone in front of your, of your face, which a lot of people I talk to actually prefer is to just not have anything in front of them. So go ahead and just get yourself some good earbuds. That'll work just fine. Now, specifically, when you are recording your videos, the first thing I always tell people is stare at the camera. You need to find where the camera lens is. If you're using the one built into your computer, make sure you stare at that green dot that lights up when you have it running. If I were to look at the reflection of myself right now while I'm recording this video, I look like I'm not looking at you when we're talking. And we really need to approach these one-to-one -one personalized videos the way we would a conversation with someone in real life. It's always most respectful to look them in the eye when we're talking. So let's make sure we're looking them in the eye and actually look at the camera that's recording you while you're recording the message. The next thing that I always say is slow down and intonate in your speech. You don't need to just ramble through your presentation as quickly as you possibly can because you heard a short video is best, so you're gonna try to cram three minutes worth of talking into 30 seconds. That's not the right way to do it. Try to shorten your message so that you can pace yourself and still keep it 
short, and that's where you're going to win. So real quick example of how I do a personalized one-to-one -one video. Let's just pretend this is a cold outreach. Um, in my business, I reach out to a lot of technology companies. They leverage our software for a lot of different things, business development, customer success, onboarding and training. So we reach out to a lot of technology SaaS-based businesses with our software. So let's pretend that I'm prospecting you. This is what my message would look like. Number one, I would probably get out of board and I'd probably write your name on that board. Right now, it just says you will love this from a video that I was making earlier today. But regardless, let's pretend this has your name on it. Uh, let's pretend your name is Bill. Here we go. Hi, Bill. My name is Josh Feedy. I'm the CEO and founder of SalesReach. If you're like a lot of the companies that I work with in the technology and SaaS space, you're likely having conversations around the virtual uh, water cooler right now about how do you better humanize and personalize your sales process in a fully digital environment. That's why I'm reaching out to you. I wanted to tell you about SalesReach where you can make a buying portal for any customer that you're speaking with and organize the important information that they need and hyper-personalize it with personal video right in one single source. No more sending bulky emails that just get lost and misorganized and can't be properly communicated to the decision-making team. I want to help you make it easier for your buyers to say yes and better organize your sales process for them right on a sales reach page. Feel free to book some time with me when you're ready right off this page that I've sent to you and I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye. Now there's a couple things that I want you to pay attention to in that video. Number one, the sign. The sign is really great, especially if you put your customer's name on it. That way they know when they see the GIF in the email that this video was actually made for them. There's a lot of companies and people out there that put together emails that say, I made a video just for you in the text, and then when you click on the video, it's a generic video that was made for a whole bunch of people. That doesn't make you feel special. Let's help people feel special and give them a reason to click through. So put their name on a board, wave that in the beginning of the video, send that along to them. Number two, you'll see I kept the video pretty short. I touched upon a couple of things that I know if I'm reaching out to this specific individual in this specific industry that there's certain challenges that a lot of those customers are looking to solve for. I want to call those out really quickly so they know why they would want to reach out to me. And then the other thing is I made it clear how they could contact me. In my case, I let them know they could click the button onto my calendar off the page that I'm going to host this video on. But your link to your calendar might be in the video itself, depending on the tool you're using. Regardless, make the call to action really clear and guide them to let them know exactly what the next steps should be. That's going to help you win right there. The last thing that you might notice about that video is that I kept the energy high from the moment I introduced myself all the way through the end of the video. And this is a big one that I see a lot of people struggling with. They start with a lot of enthusiasm. Hi, this is Josh. And then they immediately, for whatever reason, fall into themselves and they talk quieter and they lose the presence that they had when they started the video. And many times what you'll see is that they'll start with a little bit more of a, you know, open cadence where they're breathing, they're intonating, but then they realize that they're about to run out of time. They don't want to go over a minute and they just start cramming, 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 speeding up. And it just isn't as effective as a crisp delivery with some breathing room to really quickly educate your prospect, why you want to have a conversation with them, give them the quick reasons why they might be interested in speaking with you and guide them properly as to the best ways to actually have a meeting with you. Now, that example that I gave you was only on an initial outreach. What I would challenge everybody watching this to think about are all the different ways that you can use video throughout the entire buyer's journey into customer success through customer success, onboarding, and training, there's so many different times where you can be using video to recap previous messages, deliver what the next steps are, make sure that the agenda for the next meeting is clear. Let them know why you're sending them additional information. When you send them the proposal, 
record yourself actually walking them through the agreement, pointing out the highs that you want them to check out so that they don't just scroll down to the bottom and look at the numbers right away. There's so many ways to use video to captivate your audience and better guide them through their buyer's journey. But I'll end with, again, if video isn't your jam, then double down on the areas that you are more effective. Don't jump on video just because everyone's saying jump on video. If that's not where you feel comfortable, if that's not where you feel effective, then that's not where you're going to look comfortable and that's not where you're going to be effective. So be effective in the ways you can. If video is one of them, use it. It works incredibly well. I hope that video was helpful to you. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.